Well, just as I'm getting myself settled, you might want to get yourself settled and hmm, take a few deep breaths and whatever brought you here to put that aside. Some of us, it's Monday morning. Others, it's the afternoon or the evening. I'm, I'm still waking up. Me too. Mm. That's for sure. Well, I want to wish everybody a happy Monday. I'm really looking forward to being with both Wendy and, and Sophie this morning. Um, I will say something a little bit about Wendy, and it's more personal than professional. And I know that she has so much um, to her in terms of her contributions around focusing in TAE. Um, but uh, well, I don't know how many years ago my son had graduated uh, college, and I put out a call for anyone that could host him when he first arrived to California because he was traveling by train across the country. And I didn't even know Wendy, and uh, I put it out on the focusing list, and she uh, made her home welcome for Adam and his friend. And I, there's something about a generosity of spirit and an open heart that um, many of us in this community carry. And uh, she certainly did. And it really made his entree into his next stage of life um, much more soft in terms of landing. So I just want to acknowledge Wendy for her, for her generosity. And as I said, she has made lots of contributions around focusing, but we like to see the whole person and not just one part of them. So thank you, Wendy and Sophie. We go back years too, and we have lots of uh, interactions and appreciate all your contributions as well. Thank you, Melinda. Hello, hello, everybody. Nice to see all your faces. And um, so we would like to start with you writing the word Joyce. If you could get a paper and a pen, and if you want a color, some tool to write or draw. And, and to just take a moment to write the word joy for yourself in whatever way you'd like. And perhaps you may even want to um, let the letters write themselves on the paper. And it's just for you, okay? Just play with it and it's gonna be short. So let's take another breath and we're gonna be with joy today. We're gonna to make space for that. I'll try to. That has been my quest this month to think about the reflection today. Um, Last week, we were kind of at the other end of the spectrum. And this week, we're going to go swing to the other end. And I see it like a balançoire, we say in French, a swing. And if you can go as far in one end, you can also go as far in the other end. So I just want to say a few words about Wendy again. Thank you for your Introduction, Melinda, was so sweet. I didn't know that about Wendy, about Wendy. And she's just a very generous person. I'm so glad to have met you in such a funny way. That's another story we'll tell you one day. Um, anyhow, Wendy has been my TAE partner since about 2010. And she's TAE partner and, and partner in many other things. And thank you, Wendy, for being here. And I know it's 5 a.m. for you. So I really appreciate your company and your help in making this happen. Thanks, Wendy. A what partner? A what partner? T-A-E partner. T-A-E, okay. T-A-E, thinking at the edge. And Wendy, if you, well, so Wendy is a psychologist, a focusing oriented psychologist in San Diego and private practice. And she also does teach a uh, taste of TAE. She designed them and she teach them with Hans Peter. And I don't know, Wendy, if you want to put your link to the next class that's coming up, if some people are interested. Oh, thank you. And for the one who 
the ones of you who do not know me, I am a focusing oriented expressive art therapist in Medford, Massachusetts, in private practice too. So um, we are gonna read, we're gonna start by reading you a free flowing transcript of our conversation about joy with Wendy. Right, Wendy? <laughs> yes, I would, I'll just say hello first and uh, appreciate what people have been saying about me and Sophie. I think it's just because they know I'm up at five in the morning. So uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that says it all, right? <laughs> yeah. So Sophie and I did a little emailing back and forth about joy while we were creating this. And so we're going to share that now. Okay. Why joy? I ask myself. First of all, I have to admit to you, Wendy, that I kind of jumped into this theme with my eyes closed and two feet first. And what can I say about it? This is not a familiar emotion I have worked with. Tuning in to joy, that's it. That's the title that ring true. I remember us agreeing. In me, it's like I am a musical instrument getting tuned closer to the vibration of joy. But what is joy? Most likely we all know the feeling of it, right? So we recognize it, we can feel it, but what is joy? Yes, it can be different for each of us and there is some commonality too. I heard something lately that resonates with me. It goes like this. Joy is a nectar in my heart. Yeah, to me, it's a nectar of living. So why not joy? Why not be with joy and embrace it more? Wendy, why joy for you at this time? And how do you recognize joy? What is joy for you, Wendy? Thanks for asking, Sophie. To me, it's a big umbrella for a lot of things. The big things like laughter and losing myself in dancing. But it's also the more subtle comfort of being peacefully alone or with someone I love and maybe just holding hands or toasting with a good bourbon. I remember when we were thinking of a title, it looked to me like you came from the view of let's go get joy. And I came from the view of let's bring it out from inside us. And as usual, when we work together, we were both 100% right. I love that we can both feel joy physically in our bodies and in the air. And when I'm quiet and I open my chest to the universe, I can feel the joy that is there. And all of a sudden I get this deep, wonderful breath that we focusers all know about. I understand there's hardship in this world and in my life, and yet Jenlin has inspired me to make room for all that is here. And so far, and I hope all in my life, I will always make room for joy. So Sophie, tell me more about joy for you. So I asked joy to speak to me and joy wrote me a letter. She says, Dear Sophie, I'm here too. Why won't you be with me more? You know, I can bring you delight and happiness inside. And you know what? Joy is in you, regardless of outside circumstances. What about that? <laughs> yes, life is hard with lots of challenges and worries and terrible things happening to many and and I'm also here. Sophie, it doesn't have to be one or the other, sadness, fear, or joy. We coexist in you. We coexist in the universe. And all of us emotions are valid and give you messages for your life. I'm here for you and for others too, love. Joy. So, Wendy, 
Joy inside, joy outside, joy all around. My inside is the outside. I am made of what's out there and that's reassuring to me. When I'm not feeling joy, I'm gonna tune into the out there and look for it. Sometimes it might be right here and sometimes I first need to cry or shake to cleanse and clear. And sometimes I need to be with what's blocking to make space inside. And then a sun ray can peep in inside my heart. Ah. That's wonderfully said. And that's just like you to so totally embody this topic, this earth and this universe. It brings me deep joy to see you in joy. Maybe this would be a good time to ask the group to put their reflections of joy in the chat. And then we can switch gears a bit to a tiny intro of the science of joy before we go into breakout rooms with an exercise. Yes, love your thoughts about continuing. Thank you for your appreciation. What do you have on the science of joy? Nothing right now. What do you have? Does anyone care about the science right now? I used to know I did my first dissertation draft on joy and it wasn't problem oriented enough. So they made me change my topic. Let's just talk briefly about a, def a dictionary definition, which is a source or cause of keen pleasure or delight, something or someone greatly valued or appreciated. Joy was first recorded in 1175 uh, in the Middle English, and it came from the French, the old French, and it's spelled J-O-I-E, and it's pronounced, okay, wish me luck, uh, joie. Joie, perfect. Uh, joie. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> joy is most often, and, and joie, it just sounds like joy, doesn't it? I mean, it just brings joy, joie. Okay, joy is most often defined as the deeper underlying emotion, including peace, contentment, and love. The last thing I'll say about defining joy is that lots of religions have their definitions of joy connected with God. For our purposes today, let's forget about others' definitions and see about just discovering, not for the first time, I hope, how each of us know joy with bodies and more. Before we switch gears toward that discovery, tell me more, Sophie, about how you cultivate joy. Yes, I'm invested in cultivating, cultivating joy in my inner garden, in the midst of the rest. It's not about denial, but placing something aside for a while and seeing the glass half full and making it even fuller. Yeah, joy might be fleeting and I can water it to grow joy in my inner garden. What I pay attention to is where my attention, focus and energy goes and where I choose to place my energy can transform my life. Of course, when reflecting on cultivating joy, I think of Titnaham and its message of watering the seeds we want to see growing inside. Yes, what we water grows. He says, the present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. Well, I have to share with you all and with you, Wendy, one of my favorite way to water joy is to appreciate my shuka cat first thing in the morning. <laughs> shuka means joy in Sanskrit. She greets me with that shuka jump, with that sideway turn of her cat face, and instantly joy rises in me. She's my morning sip of joy. I drink it and seek that goodness daily. And this moment of joy sure does help me enjoy my life. So 
thank you for listening to us. And now Wendy has something while Christine is preparing the next thing, Wendy has something for us. Yes. So um, I'd like for everyone to take um, themselves off of mute. And what um, what I want to do now is share one of my favorite quotes about joy. And I'm hoping that you will all join me uh, mm -hmm. because I can't carry a tune. And we'll sing one of my favorite quotes here. Yeah, make some efforts. Okay. Ready? To life, to life, as a way of confusing us, blessing and bruising us. But how much more can we be joyful, joyful. when there really, really something to be joyful, be joyful for? We will spend our be happy, be happy, and if I would be good for the question, I'm i <laughs> what a chorus thank you <laughs> zoom is not conducive to group singing <laughs> it was so beautiful to my ears to hear all of you i had to stop every once in a while so i could really hear you well. right i i love the cacophony i thought that was the most joyful to just <laughs> Not mind that uh, that it's a cacophony, a cacophony of joy. <laughs> exactly, it's like jumping out of joy, right? Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> we won't be constrained by Zoom. We won't be constrained by Zoom. So I want to read you now one of my favorite quotes. Actually, two. One of the one is from Mary Freer. She's a visual artist who created um, an art show about live pure joy. And she says, when there is so much that urges us to despair and to believe that we cannot make a difference. And in the face of that, we choose joy to celebrate all of the good and beautiful moments that are going unnoticed. That is such a powerful act of resistance. Mm. And Beautiful. Then, yeah. And then we have, uh -huh. where is Janine? Here. Right here. Every, <laughs> every bad feeling is potential energy toward a more right way of being if you give it space to move toward its rightness. And sometimes this is just another doorway to joy. Yes, it can make space for joy. Thank you, Wendy, for posting this. Mm -hmm. So before um, we have a little slideshow. So for this slideshow, there is some music and it's very upbeat. Um, and it could be overly stimulating for some people. It has been. So I want you to take care of yourself. You can mute. There will be images. It's very short. Or you can cup your ears. That's another way to kind of modulate the, the sound coming in to you. Um, and Christine, I don't know. Where is Christine? Here she is. I'm here. Okay, she's Ready? gonna put the slideshow, yes. Taking the images. And if you want, you can stand up and move to the sound. I think I'm going
So if you are standing up, you can stay standing. We're going to do some movement because before we do a little bit of sharing, if you want, but you can stay seated too. That's okay too. And I hope you see me. Okay, let me change my view and I can see that. Oh yeah, okay. So as you know, movement is a way to kind of move energy. And, um, and it's a way to clear, it's another way to clear and to bring some good chemicals in there, to bring some relaxing chemicals and some moving energy. So let's start with just stretching in whatever way feels your body feel like right now. You want to rotate your shoulders. We've been sitting and listening for a while. You can also sway. That's a great movement to shift energy. Side to side. You can do that sitting too. And let's Come um, to some yarning and stretching of our face. And you can make faces and I invite you to even look at each other, making faces and being funny. Ah, and not be afraid of that. You know, we have so many <laughs> muscles in our face, and this is a great way to relax. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's shake a little bit. That's also great. And shake your whole body, or just hands, just feet. Ah, you can leave. Let's sound out while you shake. That's really oh. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh. nice to hear some sounds with me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, and we're going to do two more. And the next one, I believe, it's come from a Qigong tradition, and it's called blowing out the venom. And you can maybe think of anything that is venom for you or that is a block for you to be present or to be in joy. So just identify that for you. And we are going to bring our arms in front of us. We're going to make some fists, good fists. We're going to bring them up and we're going to bring all the fists down at the same time that we blow out the venom, okay? With sounds and breath. <laughs> Yes. And we're going to do that two more times in your own time. Yes. And Let's shake again. Okay, shake that energy. And now we're going to just take in the sky. So bring your arms up if that feels okay. And it can be there. It doesn't have to be all the way up. And imagine the sky above the ceiling, beyond the ceiling. And it could be a day sky or night sky. And just taking that immensity, that spaciousness. The spaciousness of all the sky and possibilities. And see something for yourself in there. And bring it gently to your heart space. And drink it in. Take it in. That's just for you. When you're ready, 
You can come back down if you want. Let's settle back in a comfortable way on our seat. And Wendy is gonna lead us into a, and you don't have to stay seated by the way, you can stay standing if you want, of course, in a attunement. All right, Wendy, to you. So now that you've stretched and yawned and purged some of what you don't want inside, something that maybe doesn't belong, let's continue this attunement. So getting comfortable, and your body knows what comfortable means for you in this moment, while anticipating the enjoyment of wandering and wondering ahead. As you settle in, knowing that it's okay to be here with us right now, and whatever else needs attention can be returned to when you're ready. In the same way that you trusted your body's knowing and wisdom to guide you to a comfortable spot, maybe you can trust its knowing and wisdom to share its truth as we go on this joy journey. And as a reminder, <clears throat> knowing that all inside us means well, we that will help us be available as presence with curiosity and empathy. So close your eyes or look away softly. Follow my voice if you would like, knowing that whatever you're sensing, regardless of my guiding, it's okay to be with that and whatever you're needing for yourself right now. So breathing in and out, looking around where you are right now <clears throat> inside, look around the corner or just up ahead, there's this beautiful nature path toward joy. Wow, just look at that. Maybe while being in presence with no judgment, no wrong something, stay with this path as it unfolds. It may show itself as a blank space, a stick, a drop of water or an ocean. There's no wrong viewpoint for this path towards joy. As you see and join this path, notice what it looks like. Notice how it smells. Now take your time and notice how it feels to the touch. Are you barefooted yet? And notice how it sounds. Now look, ahead, look around and up ahead for some of us. There it is, joy. Well, would you look at that? I'm going to be more quiet in a moment and let you continue with joy. Does something inside you want to be there? Is it somewhere altogether different? Allow yourself to guide yourself on what you need next. What is your discovery? I will return in a few moments 
And then we're going to have some time to do some writing. So taking your time, whenever you're ready, sending a gentle, see you later, or stick around the whole rest of your life. And when you're ready, opening your eyes, and we're going to give you three minutes to write or sketch what's alive for you right now. So now we have time to share. Any discoveries, blocks between you and joy, whatever you'd like to share right now, a little bit before we do our breakout room. This is June. Um, hello. I pictured a walk on the beach, which I do frequently, feeling the sand under my feet. And one of the main things I always feel is gratitude. Uh, gratitude that I can walk, gratitude that I can see and hear and feel, just feeling and gratitude for all that's around me, children playing, beauty. Um, so thank you. Mm. Thank you, June. That's lovely walk. Lovely walk, right. Brighton Beach. <laughs> yeah. I could feel it as you were saying. Um, I feel like I joined June on <clears throat> on the beach. Um, I I noticed that um, the whole for me the power of movement of um, standing. I stood up. And I could feel um, the sand under my feet, squishing the sand. And just the power of um, opening my body, spreading my arms, lifting up my head, looking at the sky. I saw um, one of those airplanes handwriting joy in the air. Mm -hmm. And... I felt um, there's this conflict going on in my life and people close to me that's happening. And I just felt this um, diffusing of it, like that I could have more separation, that it could be, you know, dispersed in pieces and not be in one big clump in, inside of me. Wow, that's wonderful, Dorothy. That's diffusing. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. I um, love that sign in the air. <laughs> oh, <laughs> joy. Yeah. So, this Helene, for me, um, this is so uh, synchronicity, may I say, synchronous. Our daughter, Joy, just, oh. um, just had a terrible accident in Norway where she fractured her spine. And so it's hard not to be with that one with its joy. However, the miracle is um, she did not, it was a canyon tour. She did not become paralyzed. She did not drown in the water. And she got wonderful surgeons at the Oslo University Hospital. And she is now moving and walking with crutches. So I'm so grateful. So I have the joy of. I've had the sadness of feeling her pain. She's in a lot of pain, but the joy of joy being with us and healing. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. Well, I, this is Hans Peter. The first thing when Wendy, when you ask, uh, what, is, what is alive now? What came is my tiredness is alive. And then I started to write. Don't worry about joy. It comes when nobody expects it. <laughs> <laughs> let it be. Uh, let it come if it wants to. You cannot call it. 
you cannot look for it you cannot force it you can open the door if the, you can open if it knocks at the door mm. and for me that's joy just to leave joy aside <laughs> <laughs> If it knocks at the door, so let's hear the knock when it does. Yeah, good point. Um, I would like to say Hans Peter uh, is um, a physicist and a poet and a teacher in uh, TAE and focusing and um, my partner in this new class that we want to teach, uh, that we're teaching. Um, it's not, it's not new, we've been doing it for a while, I guess, called uh, Thinking at the Edge. Um, and I'm sorry, we do teach that one, but this one's called A Taste of Thinking at the Edge. And um, so I'm gonna put that in if anybody wants, if anybody's interested in checking it out. And it brings lots of joy and happiness and fun and giggles and um, <laughs> Hopefully. It's, it's great. So I. Apologize for interrupting. I didn't realize I was going to do that, but I wanted to say that since he was speaking so that people could know that who he is, where he is. Yeah. I, I just want to I, I just want to add to that, Wendy, that uh, most of you know we have a new YouTube channel called uh, Focusing Oriented Therapies. And one of the playlists will be upcoming events and we love uh, you. Hans, Peter, and Wendy to give us a little five-minute video just about you know uh, about your event, and we'll we'll put it up on that new YouTube channel. And anybody who hasn't subscribed, um, please subscribe to that channel and contribute any videos uh, or suggestions for us um, for that. Um, so while, while I'm speaking, I, I wanted to say I, I was sort of um, surprised by what came to me, um, but what, uh, what came was that a joy feels like a forbidden fruit. And that was very surprising. You know, like, am I allowed to lay down my vigilance and my trying and my working and my seeing that everything is okay and you know all of that to experience the joy that could be there and that's the, a kind of a receiving and um and Peter, I, I appreciated what you said about you can't force it or uh look for it, but you can allow it um, but then there's something that's very uh, young in me that says, am I allowed if things aren't okay to feel joy? And then I thought of these nature shows that I've been watching with all of these, you know, uh, endangered animals and um, uh, uh, little bear cubs and freezing weather and uh wild cats and all of that. And they experience this wholehearted joy, even though um, life is very difficult for them and survival is very difficult. And something came and said, joy is of the order of things. It's natural, yes, yes. We have permission to feel that. Thank you, Lynn. Joy is natural. Exactly. Yeah. So joy is natural. Yay. Yes. And following from that, when Helene was sharing uh, the relief of that her daughter was okay, I felt the joy rise up in me as well. Mm -hmm. That relief. So joy takes many different <laughs> forms, I think. Right. And it and it's and it's contagious, right? When she feels relief, you feel relief. Mm -hmm. You know this, um, there is, Peggy, you may remember that, there is this, this fun exercise or activity that we used to do where you lay down, you put your head on somebody's belly. 
So you, you lay down, so somebody is laying down this way and you put your head on their belly and then somebody else is laying down on their belly and, you know, as many people, and we all having our head mm. on somebody's belly and then and then you think of something really funny and then somebody start to laugh and then everybody laugh and it's so contagious. It's yeah. so cool. I remember that. Yeah. Laughter yoga, yeah. <laughs> I want to say a few things is that um, about, uh, I don't know if any of you have seen that uh, documentary, I think it's the Nook of the North, which is about an, uh, some, uh, an Eskimo living in, in Iceland or Greenland. That life is so hard, so cold, and they have such joy. It's, mm. a, it's a real lesson in that... Uh, much more joy, I think, than, than many of us, and much more abundance and ease. So joy is, is a tricky thing. Mm -hmm. I, I was surprised when, I was, when we're doing the visualization, at the end of the, of the path to joy, I saw a kind of clearing. And I said, well, what's in that clearing? Is it a light? Is it a plant? Is it and then it came to me that it was a figure, that, that joy was another person or another figure. It wasn't, so it wasn't joy just alone, isolated. Joy had to do with interaction. Joy had to do with connection. Joy had to do, and the figure was of a female of great warmth and acceptance and love. And... Uh, I thought it was surprising too, because I'd always thought about joy as sort of one person joy. But joy happens most often for me in connections uh, with people with whom I feel that sense of love and, and acceptance and warmth. So that was a little, I found that interesting that that came. Thank you, uh, Charles, for that, because it reminds me of connection that I had several years ago when I was in a focusing conference in Costa Rica, and we were focusing on nature and that connection, not just to people, but to nature. And my heart just completely opened. And after that experience of feeling such love in my heart for the environment, for everything around me and that connection, that that was life changing for me. So you know, joy joy definitely has to do with connection, whether with people or nature or love, right? Open heartedness. When the heart is open, that love, 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 love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the heart needs to be to be willing to be open. Is so true. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful to hear everyone's wisdom. Anyone mm. who's speaking, when I and I resonate with it, and it, and it just all makes so much sense inside, doesn't it? June, I think you were going to say something. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I, I just wanted to say one thing. I do need to go. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I wanted to thank you so much for the path for the for the. Uh, visualization and the pathway and I just wanted to read what came to me mm -hmm. um a little did a little art piece with it uh pathway up the mountain earth dirt smells newts peeking through damp leaves gentle footsteps up searching for arrowheads in the layers of the rock for the sound, gentle mind. A swing, taking full heart higher up to the open sky. <laughs> That's great, Peggy. No, there was a real, yeah, there was a, such joy at the end with the swing. It just appeared. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was back at age eight or but not really also here now. And um, the joy that I felt swinging such a, a 
frictionless <laughs> letting go into the into the world that really brings joy to me and and that was a path that I took when I was young so I was transported there very easily and quickly so thank you thank you Peggy for right. that felt sense yeah. of a joyful swing <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah. Yeah. Well, I would like to share <clears throat> hi Wendy hi Sophie hi everyone hi Monica hi yeah. Monica Good to just, see you, Maya. And just to see you brings me joy, I have to tell. Um, uh, it was very, really a very interesting experience for me because um, I'm, I'm, I'm very lazy on, on Mondays and uh, I woke up with you guys. <laughs> So you already brought joy to my morning, Monday morning. <laughs> so, yeah, and with the visualization, I saw this, uh, I was uh, traveling on France for the conference, and it was so joyful to be with Hans Peter at the conference. Um, and, and there was this little town that was like happy town, like everyone was in a very great spirit, you know, like vacation mood, ice cream, like wonderful weather. <laughs> and, and at the end of the path, it was very surprising to me what I found that was joy. And it was like a mirror. It was me at the end of the path. I was, I was <laughs> the joy. And then, and then the big cloud came, of course, you know, like I relate what Lynn says. Oh, am I am allowed to be joyful? It's not <laughs> painful to be joyful when everyone is in pain, you know, who I can share my joy with. It's, I am ridiculous about feeling joy. Um, but I was able to embrace that that I'll, I'll not, no matter how much adversity in my life and many things, I think I like joy and, and, and making a joke, joke about seeing and laughing and enthusiasm. I think it's a very important part of my, of my, my, of who I am. So it was really nice this morning to to get in touch with me mm. so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and i can't wait wait to 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 see you if i don't meet you or to have joy with you at some point in my life <laughs> with all of you <laughs> yes i would love that monica just remember mexico thank you for reminding me mm -hmm. You're having it now with us now. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> so we're going to go into the breakout room, but maybe there is still someone who wants to say mm -hmm. something that hasn't, and maybe it's not joy. That's okay too. Uh, I just kind of want to, I'm glad that it was an extra. Bit of space. Um, I certainly was with the tiredness, and then when Helene said about her daughter, it was this spontaneous burst of joy <laughs> that she was away. It just it brought me alive, or it brought me through my sadness, and it was spontaneous. Mm. And I'm just so grateful that I feel that <laughs> for someone mm. I don't know. It's just such a joy mm. to hear the good news, you know. Mm. <laughs> It brought me through the sadness and I really liked the don't worry about joy it comes when no one expects it. <laughs> Does this feel, feel familiar? You can't open the door or you can open the door, but don't worry. <laughs> so I like, <laughs> so it's like, mm. no messages. So I'm really grateful. Thank you. Yeah. I'm in Ireland. Oh, thank Hello. you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Pauline, in Ireland. So, <laughs> I yeah, think it's I so, it, it's one way of cultivating joy to be with 
the joy of somebody else to really share that, to bring that in, to be able to be with their happiness, their joy. Mm. I think Robert, uh, you want your wife wanted to say yeah. something there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was I was just going to read what I had written about to, in answer to the question of what's alive for me right now, and it matches with a lot of what things that people were saying. But a, a desire to be, just to be, um, somehow came to me to be with those that I love, to be in nature, to be able to accept myself as I am and as I was. Um, <laughs> just to be, not having mm. to try to be somebody or something else. Mm. Just to be. Thank you, Nancy. Just to be. So Christine is going to place us in some, uh, in the breakout room. We will be group of three, mostly. And you can share whatever you'd like, of course. And or maybe something about how you cultivate joy or how you want to. Um, or anything else, of course, that is meaningful to you at the time. I can start. Um, um, I want to write what came to me in the writing after the, I want to read, sorry, what came to me in the writing in the attunement. And when I, so I wrote, what's alive is this field in France of wheat and poppies blowing gently in the wind, the air is soft, it's spring-like, but it's not spring, it's summer. There is a jump of joy in my heart. I am with joy and all around, it's all there and perfectly imperfect. <laughs> That's what I came to. And I could see that feel. I've seen those fields of wheat and poppies. They are like immense fields of wheat and poppies. It's so beautiful. The red with the yellow gold and the wind moving the wheat. I don't know if you've ever heard the wind in the wheat. It makes a, a special sound. Um, so it was lovely to be there uh, again. And um, one more thing I wanted to say. Yeah, when somebody share about um, oh, just lost it now. But it was just something about my inner child. Um, somebody share about g going back to the inner child or connecting and and I just got a glimpse that. She is all joy. She, I, I can see her or see me maybe three, four, and I'm running towards somebody to connect. Um, and it's like I'm just running with all open. You know, my arms are open, my body is open, and I'm like a four-year-old, you know, toddler. And I'm just like, oh, you know, this is, this is me. This is her. This is, I'm tuning back into her more and more. Wow. So, thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. It's pretty wonderful. Uh, the they poppies uh, seem particularly vibrant and yeah, colorful and meaningful. Yeah. And I was certainly struck with, I am with joy. It's really, um, I don't know, there's something about the relationship, being with joy, that it has a presence. Of course, we're always trying to get somewhere, you know, be in love or be in joy, you know. So uh, the fact of being with it, even as a, an aspiration is, is pretty, um, there's movement in that. When I heard you say it, I'm with joy. It's all there. Perfectly imperfect. Yeah. Thank you. Pauline, is there more you wanted to share from your own uh, 
Uh, thank you. Yeah, um, I certainly am with uh, the sense of not being. Um, well, it's like whatever stop, whatever's between me and joy. You know, uh, when I when I think of joy or when I, well, I mean, I mean, really enjoying the space. You know, which is kind of it. It it's maybe bringing me towards joy. You know, it's just such a an unexpected treat. You know, on Monday morning, it's it's lunchtime here, and uh, yeah. So even the word joy um, certainly is um, it, it's moving me towards that. But I'm no noticing the space between me and it. What's standing between me and my joy? You know, um, um, but I kind of like it, or I'm enjoying it because it's it's moving me towards it. Whereas if I wasn't in the group or hadn't the experience. I would be just stuck, you know, with without the movement, you know. So yeah, um, and yeah, I just have written down loads of color and you know what's alive for me. And yeah, it's been a long time in a way since I've been in a focusing group, and yet I do it the whole time I'm practicing as a therapist as well. So it's the whole time coming back to self, you know. So yeah, but uh, just love the community. Yes, yeah, lovely. So thank you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sharing more. And there's a fish behind you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's colorful. It's kind of a, a composite of a lot of fish, and and it's from an artist in Lanzarote. So it's yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you, Pauline, for sharing more. Yeah. Sometimes we are in that space in between, yeah. But it's uh, moving forward. It's, yeah, it's a continuum. Yeah. Wendy, you ready to share something? Yeah. Um, I think that, that uh, I was, I was not my fullest for a number of years. Um, I was living in a way that I felt like I had to be sort of quieter or smaller than I wanted to be naturally. And so I so the so the joy sort of had to kind of slip in different places. It was it was there, but it wasn't the same. And so now where I'm living my life, in a, in a more authentic way and and I'm as large as I need to be the joy is um tremendous for me so I have a gratitude and I think there is a connection between joy and gratitude for me too um so um and and as and as I go through <clears throat> consciously deliberately connecting to the sun and the water and and nature i get an overwhelming <clears throat> excuse me uh joy kind of coming up springing up um and that's kind of fun too i think for me joy sometimes is a byproduct of of living right for myself but even when i'm in pain um i know that that both are here <clears throat> for me joy and whatever the kind of pain is uh, i have both it's fun and being in presence helps me have both it's interesting what you're saying because i do feel that too when i'm more able to give myself space to be myself and to be spacious with what's there um i definitely feel more joy this life feels more joyful and enjoyable um I'm not trying to constrain myself or restrain or be something else um it really makes me come closer to enjoying views joy yeah so true 
Thank you for saying that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I kind of just wanted to make us some space for your joy, Wendy. You know, it's that when you said, it's kind of that reminder that, well, one, one mightn't be living in that sense of joy. You know, it's like that as an expectation or a culture of joy, you know, as a, a medium, you know. Um, and yes, that, uh, so it's the reminder. So I want to make a bit of space for hearing that or, you know, sort of giving back that I heard that, you know, so. Thank um, you. Yeah, and I suppose it's that enjoying, you know, so enjoying others experience and before that's left, you know, so that it went down to you then, Sophie, it's like, you know, it's that, oh, I'm enjoying this, you know, um, so it's, it's really, yeah, enjoying. Yeah, so thank you. Mm -hmm. And the word in English, enjoying, is N-E-N -E a little bit like in? What is E-N? E-N, E-N-J-O-Y. Yeah, E-N. So I'm just wondering if there was, if there, if there is a meaning to just E-N? No. Like I mean, there might, there might be, if we looked it up, It'd be interesting, wouldn't it, to yeah. find out? And is it in French? Oh. Is en meaningful? Je suis en. Yeah, en means in. Je suis en. Je suis en. En moi. I am in me. Je suis en moi. Yeah. Well, I think you hit on something. Yeah, I think so. Uh -huh. In English, it sounds like a command, doesn't it? You know, enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy, so, yeah. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy. Oh, yeah. You could put an apostrophe, right? Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy. It has a springy kind of, huh? Joy. Mm -hmm. it It's kind of the pleasure, isn't it, of eating or, you know, it's associated. I think it's different that it's, yeah. It has been really um, good for me, this journey of preparing this reflection, uh, because I feel like, you know, I have been with it every day. Yes, um, and it has been such a gift to to be with it, even though in uh, there is something that are tough in my life right now, and but it's there too. So it's it's really what the joy wrote me, right? It's there too. I'm here too. Don't forget about me. <laughs> hmm. So good to be with you too. Is it you, Sophie, that's doing the workshop with, with uh, Hans Peter? No. You, no. no that, uh, when, uh, okay. Yeah. Will the, the information be given in the in the chat? I put it in the chat. Okay. Um you could put it again when we back in the main room, Wendy. Yeah. Do you think um, oh, there's lots of thing in the chat. Do you think they might lose it? Uh, I know that when we put it in the workout room, it doesn't show in the main room. No, it doesn't. Uh... No, I put it in the main room. It's very fun. Um, we do um, some exploring. Um, connecting with art and with music and with um you know obviously with words um and it's a, it's uh by zoom yeah okay it, it's, have... it's really fun and i think it's affordable because we won't be making any money on it really <laughs> it's um 
and the people that join the classes are are always fun to be with. I mean, you know, it's it's just a fun class. Uh, you don't have to know anything about TAE. We just okay. take some concepts that are um, similar, you know, Jen, some of Jenlin's concepts, and we do some fun exercises. Okay. And it, it's not just fun. Um, it's it's exploring too. You know, it's heartfelt. Okay. Um, you, you're paying attention to something that's really important inside you. And in creative ways, you're getting more information for yourself. Okay. So. Um, Good. I look forward to that. Yeah. Well, that would be fun to have you in the class. Yeah. And, yeah. and thanks for the uh, preparation. You know, I heard that you were up at three o'clock or it's four. Where, where are you based? I'm in California, okay. uh, San Diego. Yeah. And you, yeah. Sophie? In, in front. I'm in Massachusetts, Boston. Oh. Near Boston. And so we're all here, here in Ireland? Ireland, Ireland, yeah. It feels like a different world. <laughs> yeah, what's the weather like there these days? It's Irish summer. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining. Yeah. But it, we had a couple of hot days, just a couple of hot days, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. So it's, it's a pity that it's uh, so... Um, you know, uh, that the space, you know, that I, I'm certainly used to and focusing and experiential, you know, it's that I feel it's more just chatting, which is lovely, but still it's that, yeah, missed that opportunity. Yeah. But, yeah. I miss that too. Colleen, yeah. are you um, using other modality of uh, expression in your work? <clears throat> um, well, I suppose it's, it would be focusing informed and from that then, you know, it would be uh, storytelling or, you know, really making shapes and, and yeah, hopefully moving into um, using it as um, to find beliefs, what beliefs are active, you know, in the felt sense, what's implied in, in the felt sense, you know, so yeah, looking forward to a bit more of that yeah. in the autumn, yeah. yeah. And you? I, um, yeah, I miss, you know, I, I'm an expressive art therapist, so I use movement and images and painting and some role playing and things like that, breakout room in progress. Okay. And we have yeah, a minute. We have a few more minutes. Okay. One minute. Sorry, go and ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Sophie. That's okay. And music too. Music is hard on Zoom. It's, uh, it's tough. Yeah. Music is hard. On Zoom, it's a little difficult. You know, they have they need to make some progress okay. around being able to play together or sing together, or, okay. uh, and also their sound quality. Um, so I miss that too. But I see some people in person now. Well, or yeah, it's sort of the, the, the universal language is the holding, the focusing holding, isn't it? It's, it's pretty powerful, isn't it? That we're kind of already there. Yeah. Yeah. No speaker. With no speaker. Oh, everybody's coming back. Okay. Hey, Lenor. Hi. Do so we have some time for everyone to speak a little more if they'd like? I, I'd like to um, just let everybody know that that slideshow had uh, some of Sophie's pictures. Maybe you guessed that, but some of her, her artwork. And I wanted mm. to make sure that you knew because that was extra joyful. And um, and I wanted to explain a little bit more about the writing the words, the letters, Joy, because I think we all agree that that words matter. And um, and I have a friend who drew the words Joy on a piece of paper. And when she passes that paper, she puts her hand on it every day in and out of her bedroom. Uh -huh. And she is recovering from something. And it really makes a difference for her. So I thought, well we should, you know, it might be nice 
if we all knew that and maybe gave it a try. Um, yeah. I'm, you know, I have an idea if people are interested, would you be interested in putting your joy word on the screen and we would see all this writing? Are you feeling okay about doing that? Are we, or some, oh, if, if you don't want to do it, please don't do it. I, I am. Um, if you have it, we could see it on our little square thing. We could see all the joy. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Write the word joy, any way you want to write it. Write it. Okay, how about sign language or something? I know, yeah. <laughs> what is the sign, yeah. I don't know, but, oh, and I just want to say that I'm on a joy list. I'm in a Buddhist group. And we have a joy list and five of us write joys um, every day or whenever we want to uh, and share them. So you could have a joy list with other people. Right. <laughs> that sounds like a fun idea. Yes, right. it does. I don't know if there is any sharing that wants to happen now after the breakout room. Yes, I'd love to hear how your breakout room experience was. And good morning to Olivia. Olivia's here. Oh, <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been back for a while, but I saw the the title and I saw the speaker. I'm like, I have to come to this one. This is <laughs> <laughs> this is my topic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It does bring me joy to see uh, faces and names that I've known through focusing, and I'm so appreciative. Mm. Now, don't be polite. Go ahead and speak up. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just say I'm feeling great joy. Oh, see someone's. The beat. speaker has. Uh, yeah. The beat of a band swing. You're muted, Hans Peter. Sorry if I did interrupt anybody, but the, the beat of a bird wing. Ah, birds wing. Ah, ah. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty. Charles is putting his up. This is this is Shashi. Sometimes I um I Sometimes I want to have the intention of bringing joy to somebody else. Like in the last two weeks, I talked to somebody who I was angry with and did not want to talk to. But the idea of this person wanted to talk to me and, and could I bring some joy? And that brought me joy mm -hmm. to be able to do that. Mm. I think intentionally saying I want to bring joy to somebody is is very, very good, very good thing, I think. Mm. Yeah. And 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 I it didn't take much effort or energy. I just had to listen to her, whatever she was saying, and just be there and then it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we just need that intention, right? Session. Yeah. yeah. It carries a lot of energy. Mm. Yeah. So instead of being with it, maybe uh, in presence, you want to allow it to be in your body as large as it wants mm. and uh, experience that too. And for those that have um, blocks or Mountains to get around, uh, don't give up. Yeah. It's here for us. 
But what I thought, if I didn't do that, if I didn't do that, that little that little worm of anger would still be there. But if I say, let me just do this and bring some joy, it's t- it takes care of so many things. Mm. So it takes care of lots of things. So you made a yeah. difference for somebody else and you. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking of what Charles said about joy being in connection. And it isn't like joy is something just within us. It's something between us. So when you're bringing joy to someone else, of course, you're bringing joy to yourself, to the atmosphere, to everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I would say sometimes we bring joy to others, but we didn't realize that. We may not necessarily notice the uh, effect. Like my husband, every every night before he goes to sleep, he, he he says, I'm just so grateful it brings so much joy to my life. It takes me years to let it in. I still feel like I'm still slowly open up to that. That's different mm-hmm. than my perception of me. <laughs> so... I think uh, that could be an invitation for us to recognize the joy we bring to others, too. Mm-hmm. You should probably look in the mirror when you're smiling. I know. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. A gorgeous yeah. smile. Olivia, Beautiful I was face. in a group with you, and you brought me so much joy in our little group, and I wanted to say that, and now I'm saying it. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's so true. Just seeing you makes me smile, Olivia. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Me too. Me too. <laughs> Thank you. I expected a joy shower. <laughs> <laughs> I was really impressed with how um, how important it is to make room for joy. You know, to to make room. You know, like Jean's clearing a space. You know, make mm. room for joy. And uh, yeah, that was really important to me and another thing was um at the end of the uh the pathway uh there was fog Mm. and then the fog lifted and i was surprised so there's Mm. joy is a surprise Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you Yes, and some people have been saying they associate joy to gratitude and surprise and wonder. It's close. It's close. During the course of this conversation, I've remembered that there's a song which I learned as a child about joy, the words of which are just joy, joy, again and again, and the spelling of it in French. Oh. Do you know if anybody else knows this, this song? Maybe um, you can find it and send it to us. That would be lovely. Well, it, it only takes 30 seconds, so I'm going to attempt to sing it for you. Ah, oh, good. good. I'm, I'm not a singer. You'll soon know that. <laughs> joie, 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 joie. Thank you, Lindsay. That's so great to be reminded of this tune. Uh, you're all so beautiful. I wish I could join the group more often. Uh, Mm. It would be wonderful. We have a poem, but I don't want to cut anyone else off. So if someone else would like to share first. I think we should have our poem because some people have to leave right um, at a quarter to. So it's a poem that um, one of the poems that Dorothy, who usually reads our poem, uh, chose. So and it's one of the two she mentioned. I chose Poppies by Mary Oliver. Poppy, the flower. Oh, poppies. 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 P-O-P-P-I-E-S. Poppies. No, not puppies. Poppies. How do you pronounce it? 
the flower, the flower, not the dogs. <laughs> you know that red, orange, wild, fragile field flower. The poppies send us their orange players, swaying in the wind. Their congressional are a levitation of bright dust, of thin and lacy leaves. There is not a place in this world that doesn't sooner or later drown in the indigos of darkness. But now, for a while, the roughage shines like a miracle as it floats above everything with its yellow hair. Of course, nothing stops the cold, black, curved blade from hooking forward. Of course, loss is the great lesson. But I also say this, that light is an invitation to happiness. And that happiness, when it's done right, is a kind of holiness, palpable and redemptive. Inside the bright fields, touched by their rough and spongy gold, I am washed and washed in the river of earthly delight. And what are you going to do? What can you do about it, deep blue night? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Enjoy with us, enjoying each other. Love all you shared and... Thanks so much. It was a lovely one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much.